Welcome to Ascent. My name's Martin Fordham, and today I'd like to give you a brief introduction to one of our very popular Drysyn Multi kits. This is a Drysyn Multi M, and some of the other multi inserts to give you an overview. I'll be doing more videos going into more in depth and how to purchase Drysyn Multi kits, what's available, and the wide variety of sizes that you can utilize. What is a Drysyn Multi M? Well, basically, it allows the chemist to perform up to three round bottom flask experiments in volumes up to 250 milliliters. So here we have two, three 250 milliliter round bottom flasks. We're using a standard magnetic hot plate stirrer. So you don't even have to buy one of those. You can use what you've already got. It will fit any hot plate stirrer as well. It will fit the Ascent branded ones, of course. It'll fit very popular mates such as Heidolf, Ica, Stuart, so, and many more uh, without uh, compromise. So this will work with what you've already got. So Rambon flasks, we use a standard size, so you don't have to buy anything special. You can use standard Rambon flasks from your local supplier. Just make sure they meet ISO specifications, which is quite important. Um, here you can have a flask with multiple necks quite easily. There's plenty of space to have two, maybe even three additional side arms on a flask, depending on the availability from your supplier. Many of our customers like to have two, two side arms on a flask, one for maybe making additions, a second one they may use for um, oil bubbler, for keeping a constant nitrogen supply or argon supply. Here to keep things tidy, we use a, a very unique three position clamp. This is optional, but pretty much we certainly recommend purchasing this device. It clamps onto a normal retort rod and keeps the three flasks held securely. It also allows you to remove them from the heat um, at the end of an experiment or in case of an emergency quite quickly. You, many of our customers fit the hot plate stirrer onto a lab jack so after synthesis, they lower the lab jack away, just a small small amount to allow the flask to cool more quickly. Drysyn is made of solid aluminium that's anodized, and it performs much more effectively in terms of heating rates and energy efficiency when compared to an oil bath, and of course, much safer as well. Just to enable a chemist to have a minimum of hassle, I put on here three of our condensing units. Condensing, I'll go into in more detail another time, but allows you to perform experiments without the need, or reflux experiments it is, without the need for any water usage. And these air condensers work just as efficiently as the average Liebig condenser, allowing you not to worry about water spills, using a lot of expensive water, and of course the dreaded flooding overnight. So this makes it a lot safer to use, more practical. There's no plumbing. It's very, very simple setup. Now I'm going to show you some close-ups now using my trusty phone camera. I've just turned on the stirring on the hot plate. Let's see how good it, the performance is. So here you can see very, very good mixing in each of the three round of flasks, but just from the one magnetic drive, very very efficient indeed and you can see the clamp mechanism very very simple design very very easy to use over here we have some of the other options available this is a, a smaller tricin multi unit this is the multi e and it works up to 100 mil in parallel but as you can see on this and it's a these inserts will also fit on the multi s and the multi m is that we can do multiple tubes of different configurations we have many options for standard available and in stock but we can also do custom sizes too the largest size we go to in terms of round flask is 500 milliliters and the smallest is five milliliters all again available on the same base units Let's turn that off and let's show you how it disassembles. So quite simple. 
Um, if we want to remove it from the heat source, in this case, I'm going to undo the, the retort clamp here. Just take the temperature probe out from the hot plate stirrer, and then I'm going to lift these up. So it enables you now to remove the dry sim block from the hot plate very easily. Change the inserts, of course, if it's not hot, for whatever size you wish. So thanks ever so much for watching today's video. Just a quick introduction. Any questions, please drop a note below. Send us a message to inquiries at synth.com. I'm going to be doing a few more videos in the coming weeks in my kitchen for obvious reasons. And um, hope you enjoyed this one. And please join me again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.